Hey, what's up, y'all? How y'all doing? It's your boy, JT. What's happening? Um, hope everybody's doing well. Happy New Year to you. Um, happy 2024. See you already. Um, first of all, let me start off by saying I want to thank everyone for their support um, That uh, for all of uh, uh, 20, <laughs> 2023. Um, it's been phenomenal. In, the, in 2022 and 2021, um, <laughs> thank you so much for your support. It's really been a great, great ride. Um, a lot of uh, great energy and, and and super good momentum. So thank you so much for that. Appreciate that. Um, I'm on here for a different reason today, though. Um, <clears throat> I'm not going to necessarily talk about my music product or music production or project, I should say. Um, I wanted to. Um, you guys are always you guys and girls are always um providing and 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 pointing stuff into me i really appreciate that and um one of the ways i love to give back is musically but you're always pouring into me but i also wanted to find another way and i wanted to deliver another way of giving back to you um this one though um is geared more towards business owners um so uh, you know if you're selling something on etsy or if, if you're a musician or an artist like myself or you know, any of those things and you're a business entity, LLC or an S Corp or whatever. Um, I want to make sure I wanted to make sure that I shared this information with you all. Um, as of yesterday, <laughs> New Year's Day, January 1st, 2024, as of yesterday, the government has executed or has put into action a bill uh, that simply states that all LLCs who are um, not making at least five million dollars a year <laughs> unfortunately i'm not there i'm on my way hopefully uh, anyway um if you're not making at least five million dollars a year um you have to um be compliant what they call um you have to fill out this compliance form um and basically uh, this form is going to ask you for some some in detailed information about yourself all right the stuff we call PII, which is, you know, some personal identifiable information. Um, it's going to ask you for some of those things. And as well as um, stuff such as a social security number. Um, when I say PII, you're, you're, for example, it's going to ask you for like your address. It's going to ask for your social security number. Um, it's going to ask you for your EIN number of your company. Um, and then it's going to ask you about anyone who may be affiliated with your LLC. So if that's your spouse or your children. Uh, or just another business partner, and you're a business entity, not a sole proprietorship, but a business entity, all right? An LLC, uh, S Corp, corporation, whatever, this applies to you. You have to fill out this form. Now, if you are just starting out this year, let's say you're like, hey, I just became LLC today. I'm going to be an LLC um, corporation business today. Great. Phenomenal. All right. Um, however, you have to be compliant within the first 30 days of you um, um, filing for your business. All right. First 30 days. Um, if not, then you will be fined $1,000. And you will be fined an additional $500 per day. Yeah, let me repeat that. If you're not compliant if you had not filled out this form i should say within the first 30 days all right if you're starting your business online or your business being registered right you know you go to the state you do an llc thing and all that good stuff all right but you have to go to this other website that i'm going to give you here in a little bit you have to fill out this compliancy form if it is not done within the first 30 days you will be fined one thousand dollars and then an additional five hundred dollars per day until it is done okay um i know that's a lot and i don't want to strike fear but i do want to raise the concern i want to build awareness so that we all know as business owners we are aware of what's going on now some of you may have heard this great but for those of you who have not this is for you all right now if you had started this business and it was prior to 2024 all right so like myself i've been in business i started my business before january 1st of 2024 then um, I don't have to have it done like within January of 2024. I don't have to. However, 
it has to be done before December 1st of 2024. All right. If not, then those of you who are in that same boat will wind up paying a thousand dollars for the fine and then five hundred dollars each additional day until it's taken care of until, until you have been until you fill out the compliance form. Um, so let me rewind. Let me repeat that. If you have already a business that's already been established prior to January 1st of 2024, um, you have until December 1st of 2024 to get this stuff done and filled out. But for those of you who are starting a business like us, as of today, it has to be done within 30 days this month. All right. If not, then the fines will apply to you. OK, um, the website you want to go to, I'll tell you in just a second um, where to go to to fill this stuff out. It is a government website. This is not a company. This is not a third party thing. This is not some kind of um, um, scam or whatever. This is the real deal. This is a bill that Congress uh, created on March uh, 23rd of last year, or just to say March of last year, or 2023. And it is now in effect right now as we speak. This very moment, this very second, it was in effect as of midnight on January 1st of 2024. So while we were out there celebrating, having a good time, being thankful, being grateful, or whatever you were doing during that time, that's when this thing kicked in. And it's, the real deal all right um so i'm gonna i'm gonna share this i'm gonna share this with you right now so you can see it there it is that's a website fincen.gov now fincen is the financial crime enforcement group okay and they're the ones that are behind all this right so they're the ones that you know you go to that website and it's gonna you'll see the forms you'll see some um some q a's out there you see some other kind of illustrations and instructions that they're out there for this kind of form that you have to fill out and all this good stuff um but yeah, this is something I definitely wanted to share with you. So all of all of you who are artists and musicians like myself and you have an LLC, you have to get this done. Right. Or you're getting ready to start an LLC or you just formed it as of midnight last night or whatever, whatever. You have to get it done. It has to be done. There's no if, ands or buts. There's no way around it. Please, please, please make sure you get it done. Because if you don't get it done, the fines are going to add up. And then you will still be accountable for those fines. Now you say, well, you know, I can just file bankruptcy. Mm -mm. No, you can't. You cannot file bankruptcy for back old taxes uh, to the IRS, nor can you file bankruptcy for these type of transactions, you know, concerning fines and penalties as a business owner. That is not going to happen. You have to pay. All right. You have to pay. Uh, so make sure you take care of business. All righty. So one more thing. If you are an LLC and you have um, your children or your spouse, right? Um, or friend, buddy, whatever, um, that is on payroll, that is somehow affiliated to your LLC that has been listed as being affiliated to your LLC that is on payroll from your LLC. This applies to them as well. They're gonna ask for their information as well. So be prepared. They're gonna ask for the name, their address, Social security number, all of the good stuff. All right. So just a word to the wise that this is the real deal. Um, and that really um this is something that, you know, as a business owner, we have to definitely take serious. And um, we don't want to be left out. We want to make sure that we're included and not excluded. We want to make sure that we share this information um and help one another out because we are helpers on one another, regardless. And this is just the right thing to do. So this is a way that I wanted to give back and just want to share. It's a different flip of script from JT, from JT Jazz. But I just want to make sure that, um, you know, as I received this information and as I did some homework on it, um, that I shared it. Make sure you go out there and research it yourself. Go out there and Google and check it out. Again, you go to this website, the one I have down here, and you will see that, um, that basically, I mean, this is a government website. This is the real deal. This is not a third party. This is not you know, some kind of, you know, um, whatever is, this is the real deal. All right. It's a government website. It is the government themselves. Um, but again, I'm not trying to alarm any of you. I just want to make you aware this is, this is really happening. All right. So this is not to discourage any of us from starting a business, uh, or from, or from pursuing our business. This is to encourage us, right? Because, you know, when we know what to do, then that's when we should do it, right? Um, as my one uh, one friend said, when you know better, you do better. And that's a fact. 
And that's a fact. So let's help each other out. Let's make sure we're aware of this thing. Um, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not a politician. <laughs> I'm not running for office, um, but I am a business owner. Um, and, and and with that being said, you know, I want to make sure that we all um, spread the news and knowledge and help each other out. And, um, you know, if that means you need a contact, if you have a financial consultant or uh, an accountant, you know, talk to them about this, find them well, um, but make sure you get your questions answered. Um, I think there is a um, phone number on the website um, as well as a live chat, but make sure you check it out. Check things out locally um, and, and then make sure you get all your questions answered. OK. All right. So. Meanwhile, that's it for me right now. I just wanted to share that with you, a little bit of nugget. Thank you all so much for listening. Thank you for your time. And, um, yeah, we got some stuff happening with JT Jazz. We have some new things that are coming up, and we've got a whole lot more. Um, we've got some new merch that's on the, on the market, on the way, new project. We're working on a project as we speak. I'm so excited about it. And uh, we're just looking to really connect with all of you out there in the industry, all of you, the fans, the listeners. Um, just so excited about what's to come. All righty. So again, happy new year. Stay safe, stay encouraged, keep up the positive energy. Always be remain grateful um, because I am grateful for all of you. All right. So take care until we meet again. God bless and peace.